Uh, today, what we have done, uh, we've been practicing uh, a uh, amphibious landing. Uh, the, the vehicles that have been using, sorry, 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 uh, that sorry, we've sorry. seen today are, are LCACs, uh, cushion vehicles, uh, hovercraft essentially. And they've been bringing equipment and Marines ashore in order for us to continue the exercise Trident Juncture. The most important piece, I think, is the relationships here, both with NATO and with the country of Norway. Uh, we have been uh, reinvigorating our, our effort to know uh, Northern Europe better, uh, should we have to come back here uh, in extremis. And uh, the, the relationship that with NATO is in a, an extremely part of that, important part of that, as well as the relationship with Norway. Yeah, so the, the logistics uh, distance that we have to cover in order to make a, a successful landing and su successful operation is clearly uh, daunting, but the conditions as well is something that we haven't worked in as a large unit in a while. Over the last year or so, many Marines have come to Norway to train, but not on this scale. Uh, the entire Marine Expeditionary Force uh, has come to Norway to, to participate in the exercise. You know, for a lot of senior Marines that have been doing this for a while, uh, they've had their boots in the sand in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, Norwegians have been there too, but this is a lot different for uh, United States Marine Corps to come here to this archipelago and uh, to fight in cold weather. In fact, I was back in the States a few weeks ago and people asked me, why in the world are you doing this in October and November in Norway? It's cold. And I said, that's exactly why we're doing it, because we're going to acclimate our people to the environment that uh, we may actually have to deter and defend in someday. So this is invaluable training and there's not many places in the world you can get it.